the very first goal for today is 10 fletching. I'm gonna be obviously doing the quests and for that I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have to get some of the rewards basically. But yeah, 10 fletching to start it off. I'm uh, looking to get smithing up now for the Tory trap. So therefore I'm gonna be doing, doing the knight sword because you get a lot of experience doing that quest. First quest, talking to... Um, well, the Doric. Uh, I'll get you the materials and then we speak to him again. Uh, certainly I'll be right back and boom quest done so basically I'm doing this one to get a little bit of mining experience all the way to 10 mining and now I'm doing the next quest which will get me my smithing up all right a simple one uh, that one gives you a shit ton of smithing experience 12k right there all the way to 29 I can now do the Tory trap and then get agility and then do all the quests that I planned on doing another quest about to be done I sh no yeah, there we go, okay. So, talking to the ghost, and we should be finishing it now. We are no longer one prayer. Um, uh, my initial... Uh, my goal right now is to complete animal magnetism, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Also gonna have to get some slayer levels, uh, but there we go. We get nine prayer out of that. And now the next quest on the list should be... Let's see. Uh, Priest Imperial, let's go. I didn't end up completing the Varrock Museum. I should be getting 9,000 Slayer and Hunter experience. Um, let's see. There we go. Level 9 in both. Now the next quest on the list is Priest in Peril. And another quest. This one will obviously give me some more prayer experience. Um, let's see what level do we get from it. That was Priest in Peril right there for 15 prayer. Uh, and now I need to talk to him again so I can visit Canifus. I'm going to do that uh, right now. There we go. I think I should be able to visit it. There it is. And now let's... I have no idea what I need to do next. I'm gonna do something and record it. So let's go. Got myself 20 cooking now. Um, I can now make the nettle tea and complete Ghosts Ahoy. So I just basically cooked normal fish for that. Let's uh, do Ghosts Ahoy next. Alright, finally. Uh, completed with this quest. It took me freaking 30 minutes to complete. Um, and I should be able to get experience in agility. Oh, that looks so nice. There's 20 agility. I'm gonna use it again. And that is 26 agility. Now I can complete all those quests that required me to have agility. And the Torish trap is done. Nice. Let's complete Ghost Ahoy now that we can finally jump over the rocks. This quest was pretty annoying, but it is a good quest to get over and done with. Um, 2400 prayer experience, 2 quest points. Ecto file. I'm gonna grab another one. We are now 22 prayer. I'm obviously gonna try to complete all the quests that give me prayer and the text experience at the start. So I'm not exactly sure which one is next, but I guess I'll just talk to you once I finish it. I'm editing this clip right now and I have absolutely no fucking idea what I tried to say. Like honestly, what the fuck? And another quest. Would you imagine out of the way? Would you imagine out of the way? Would you imagine out of the way? Okay, now I only have one more quest left that will give me attack experience and that is Mountain Daughter. Well, there's also underground pass that I'm not going to complete, but this, th this one. Perfect. 7,900 agility, 18,000 attack XP. Thank you very much. And that's 45 attack. That le That is the level that I'm gonna get with just... Um, with just questing now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, obviously complete the Mountain Daughter for the prayer as well and then complete all the quests that give me prayer experience and then we're basically nearly done with questing so I can't wait to complete all of them. Oh yeah, and also Mithril Glove quests which will take a while but I'm gonna complete everything today most likely. And all I need to do is bury this woman uh, and this will be the final quest completed that will give me an attack experience reward. So that is awesome to see, 1000 attack and 2000 prayer. Now that should get me a prayer level, okay, there we go, 25 prayer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try to complete quests that give me prayer or start working on animal magnetism rewards. I'm gonna see what I end up doing, but this account is starting to look nice. We already have 30 quest points. The plans are I still need my mithril gloves and I still wanna get animal magnetism completed. So let's see what I end up doing next. So the whole idea is there are two more quests that will give me prayer experience. Now this is going to be the Great Brain Robbery and the Rum Deal. Uh, both together they're gonna give me 13,000 prayer experience. But what I will do, I will train it myself to 45. And then once the pure is progressed enough, I'm gonna do complete those quests and get 252 prayer um, with the rewards basically. So I guess the prayer training to... 
to 45 could happen now. I'm gonna ask some other peers to confirm that. I think that is the way to do it right now. I'm not 100% sure though, so I'm not gonna do it yet. But I'm, I might complete some more quests so I can, for example, cannon the ogres in biohazard area. I might do that one next. I'm not exactly sure. And uh, I'm doing this quest so I get basically free woodcutting experience. Uh, I am aiming towards finishing animal magnetism as mentioned a couple of times. Now this cutscene is completely fucking awkward, but anyways, most importantly I should be getting some uh, free woodcutting experience and then I'm gonna train it uh, to, well, I don't even know, 31, 36? I don't really know what I need, but can we end dancing? There we go. 2000 wood cutting experience just like that and that's 13 wood cutting i'm gonna grab a steel axe and train it up to let's actually take a look training up to 35 maybe 36 for lost city i'm pretty sure so wood cutting content i guess i don't know and there it is, 36 woodcutting is accomplished, that is needed for both Lost City and Animal Magnetism. I'm going to move on and do crafting now, I think I need 18 for the for Animal Magnetism and I do believe I need 31 for the Lost City, so crafting is the next on the list and after that Slayer. A 31 crafting, time for Slayer. Alright, so I need to take a task from Vanaka now, he's going to teach me about... wait, never mind. I just got Earth Warriors. <laughs> it's in Wilderness, so I'm not gonna risk much. Hey, there we go. 18 Slayer accomplished. I have, I, I'm still doing Earth Warriors. 24 left. Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I can complete Animal Magnetism next. So as soon as I finish this task, that's what we are gonna go on and do. Well, well. Uh, there's one more thing I need to do, and that is speaking to Ava. Here it is, Animal Magnetism completed, that was one of the goals I wanted to complete for today. Um, basically, Ava's a tractor because I'm not 50 ranged just yet. I did get another Slayer level as well and I can kill a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool stuff, I do want to get to 50 range those f for the accumulator. Now the quest that I want to complete right now is actually Horror from the Deep and then I want to buy myself a Zemi book. So. I want to get that done and then I want to get mithril gloves as well. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do first. But this quest is awesome to have out of the way. That's nice. Before the horror of the deep, I had to complete the bark lore, something like that minigame quest. Uh, this thing and I've done it. So the next thing I can do is I can complete the horror from the deep. But before I go around doing that, I played the solid 8 hours of the account today. So I think that's a nice little stop. So I'm going to go in Lumbridge and splash on some rats. And then tomorrow, the first thing I'm going to do is just going to continue with the quests. What I'm doing right now is I'm training my agility all the way to 35 because that's a requirement for horror from the deep and after that I already have all the items that I'm gonna need. I'm gonna finish the quest afterwards so let's get 35 agility. This should be a level 35 coming in right here and boom there we go. Nice now I can do horror from the deep. Who the fuck said this boss is hard to kill? Oh my god my voice cracks all over the place because I'm sick but who the fuck said this is the, the hard boss to kill? Can I hit it with this? Do it. Oh no, this is I think melee, so I can just chill and do nothing. Who said this was the... What the fuck? Who said this was the hard boss to kill? I can literally take a shit. It's not even damaging me. Wait, is this... I don't even know, is this this? Yeah, there we go, this works. There we go, uh, is this the quest done? Boom! Well, that was um... That was easy. Horror from the Deep completed. Um, I guess it's time for us to get a an holy book. Oh, 40. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got so many levels. 43 range. I got a magic level. I got a strength level. Nice. Um, let's get the book, I guess. Nice. And there we go. We can now choose the Zami book or whatever really doesn't matter. What does the casket say? It says Zamorak. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And now I'm gonna try to fill it up basically Here we have all the pages. Uh, we're gonna collect them nicely put them in there and Boom voila there it is uh, completed Zami book probably one of the best books that I will ever be able to use So that's absolutely awesome now I'm gonna go back there get a full inventory of these and then I'm gonna start working on either getting mithril gloves or Getting a Zami cape as well because I still need to get that so um, let's get a shit ton of books 
just like that we should slowly be finishing the first part of getting the cape now, the second part is going to be learning how to use it in the wilderness so i should just be talking to the guy right here and i should be entering the pool and getting my capes so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna be choosing zamorak because i prefer that one honestly so let's i actually want to have a knife on me just in case because i i know that i'll forget that later on uh, but basically i'm gonna get a shit ton of um shit ton of zami capes and that's gonna be the best cape for me to use um because it gives so many bonuses, so yeah, let's uh, let's pray for Zami and grab the capes, and boom, there we go, 100 casts has been cast, now all the green dragon bots, oh man, they're gonna get fucked, especially now that we can use this outside of the, outside of the magic training arena, if I'm correct, I don't even know, um, anyways, that's pretty good, uh, now once I have 80 magic, this is gonna be probably my primary, like, damage tool, honestly, um, because... Well, I'm not gonna go for the... Well, it depends, but I don't think I'll be doing DT and picking with DT, like, very, very early on. But I don't even know. What am I talking this? I'm gonna scratch everything. Uh, basically, it's gonna be really good to use Charge and uh, Flames of Zamorak spell. Yay. Now, for those of you wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm getting all the requirements for uh, Mithril Gloves. One of them being um, 41 Cooking. Um, I have no idea how many of these I made and how much experience I'm gonna get, so I'm just gonna stop and let's see uh, how much XP do we get. I didn't do many, I did like 80 so far. I need 41 cooking, so let's see. If you don't know if you're making the freaking wine, it takes a while and... Okay, there it is, 40 cooking. I need to do like one more inventory, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get that 41 and then I'm gonna get all the other requirements and then I'm gonna start pumping up all the quests that I still need to complete. I guess that should be it when it comes to cooking. Now the next one, let's work on getting thieving. Yeah, my thieving is still level 1. I do need 25 thieving, so let's go ahead and do that. I saw that I need 20 fire making, so I knocked that out while I was still on the on here. I'm also going to be doing sea slug quest that will give me the fishing experience that I need. And now I think it's time to finally train thieving. There it is, 25 thieving finally done. Now, I thought I could do the sea slug quest right now, but I need 30 fire making first. Now, since I'll have to get 50 fire making anyways, I'm just gonna knock 30 fire making right now and then work on fishing. And then I think I have all the requirements for the mithril gloves. So let's go ahead and knock that out of the way. And the next lung should actually get me all the way to 30. There it is, fire making, nice. And now I can uh, burn willow logs, which I'll do later on to 50 but now sea slug quest is next for that nice fishing experience and as i said uh, we should be getting fishing level completing this sea slug quest this is honestly one of the best ways to start off fishing it's a five minute quest that gives you 7000 fishing xp getting you all the way to 24 from level one for not doing anything literally five minutes if you were to do shrimps it would take much 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 longer but that is freaking awesome i think i have all the requirements for mithril gloves and I think it's finally time to complete all of them. I ended up finishing many, many more quests on today's livestream. Today's day was basically finish all the quests, get over and done with everything you need to get over and done with. So uh, at this point in time, I only have like three quests left to complete and then the account is fully quested. I wanted to put this video out before I finish those quests. So basically all I need to do is just feel, uh, is just save evil Dave and then I'm I'm basically done. As you can see, I'm I've I've been like I'm getting more sick than I was yesterday. So my voice is just at the all time fucking garbage right now. But I, I still want to produce the content. Now today I did so many quests. It is uh, not the most interesting episode, but uh, but we are very close, boys. We are very close. Just as I said, three more quests to do. Three, three more quests to go, some more skilling, and boom, we should be able to PK. Anyways, thank you once again for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, boys, or the day after that. Have a good one, bye-bye.